Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have a video that I've kind of been avoiding just because it is a lot. It's a big task and I gotta clean off these shelves and I'm gonna go through every single plant that's on here and decide if I am keeping that plant or not. So I am going to turn you guys around and give you a quick look at what's going on on these shelves for one last time before I probably rearrange most of this and I'm not going to be keeping everything that's here. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so here is what is going on. I've got some Hoya, a big ZZ up there, some sad syndapsis that needs to be propagated, um, more Hoya down here. You guys see a lot of these plants. You see a lot of them in the background in my videos, though. My cat likes to eat this one down here, my Anthurium, some of them in here. And they're kind of just a mess. Like, I just have too much stuff. So, basically, we're going to take everything off. They need to be wiped down, too. They're covered in cat hair and dirt and things like that. So, it's probably going to be pretty nasty. And then we're just only going to put back the stuff that we're keeping. Because in case you guys missed it, we are moving, hopefully, ideally, in the next few months. And I do not want to take... We're not taking these shelves. And I do not want to take all of these plants with us so let's do this okay so I think this is an all right angle for you guys to see what I'm doing and I'm gonna start from the top and we're gonna take all the plants down <laughs> I do apologize for the bad lighting it's supposed to be like some crazy winter storm this weekend or tonight in the Northeast but we will see if it actually snows or anything worth calling it a winter storm but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna do it i don't want to do it but we're gonna do it okay let's do it first plant is this really sad hoya crinkle eight that needs some love definitely don't need this probably won't keep it hoya carii I usually just propagate from her. Also, don't need it. <laughs> this is the ZZ Zenzi. This is one of David's pots and one of his plants, I'm pretty sure, as well. So, I don't know if he wants it. I was thinking it would kind of look cool inside of the gecko enclosures, but it stays kind of like moist and humid in there a little bit and, um, I'm not sure that this would do well, but maybe. So that's a maybe. Hoya latifolia uh, snow queen or something like that with like the splashy, the splashy leaves. Um, I'll probably keep this one. She just needs a little bit of love. She's from Equigenera, so she came really beat up. <laughs> So that's a thing, but I think these leaves are newer. I'm not sure. I really can't tell you, but I will be keeping this Hoya latifolia. This is just a weird little cactus. I think we have more than one of these. So I'm not sure. I'll probably just pot them up together or maybe put them back up. A lot of these things are going to go back up on the shelves somewhere. Like this ZZ. I like this ZZ on top. It's pretty big. It's finally growing something back here and up here. See this growth plant right here. I got this for $10 at Trader Joe's like two years ago. So she just needs to be like cleaned. I'm going to shower off all these plants because they're covered in cat hair. <laughs> but... I do love this ZZ, so I am going to keep this one. So this next plant is one of David's. It's a Euphorbia 
a crown of thorns or something like that. It's variegated. He's had this since it was like really tiny and just keeps growing. I don't know if they branch out or like how to do that, but he really likes this plant. I think it's really weird. So <laughs> we're going to keep it. Next is this ficus burgundy. Um, it's just kind of growing a little bit sad. I think it needs more light than what I'm giving it. So I think I might keep it, but just move it to a brighter spot because I've got west facing windows here in front of me. So it's getting light, but not a ton of bright light stuff on these shelves here. Okay, and then my sad synapsis that David always tells me to throw out, but I'm not gonna throw it out. It's my silvery end. She's just really bald at the top. So I need to cut her and just reroute the bottom like from here down and just repot her like that and she'll be fine. Um, I just haven't done it and she's thirsty so I forget to water her but she's really pretty and I like her so despite David wanting me to throw her away I'm gonna keep her <laughs> and his stupid trellis that he made. Do you guys remember when we decorated our own trellises last year? Okay, next shelf here, I have this. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can hear me. When I'm over there, I have this on the next shelf down. So we're here now. I took everything off the top. And now I'm gonna start here and work my way over. This is my Pothos Pearls and Jade, yes. And she's cute, I really like her. Um, I'm always propagating her because she gets too long, but I do really like her, so I will be keeping her. I think she looks really cute and full on the shelf. I'll just clean her up a little bit and get her looking a little bit better rid of some of these dead leaves in here and she probably could use a repot but I'm not gonna do that right now um, she's just in this catch pot but I like her I think she's really cute so I say we keep her uh, I've also got this Huernia here she had some thrips going on a lot of these plants had thrips and I treated her so she seems fine now but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep it. This is one of those weird flowering cacti. I have that one, and then I also have the stipelia that I'm definitely keeping. This one grows really well for me. Got more growth over here. <laughs> so that one we're definitely keeping. We've got this snake plant here. I think this one was David's. I have no need to keep this, so it's really whether or not he wants it. And I guess if it looks cute on the shelves, like I'll keep it here for now, but we'll have to see how it goes. Oh my gosh, that's nasty. This is my little baby Peperomia. <laughs> Peperomia beetle. She's cute and small. She just doesn't do anything. It's just one cutting with two branches. So I don't know. This is David's Manjula. He loves this thing. Even though she's looking a little bit beat, she definitely needs like, I don't know, a trim or something, wrap her around, figure it out. I'm able to like style her so that her vines like sit on the shelf and look a little bit more full, but she is a little bare. <laughs> and it's in a pot with no drainage, but it does totally fine in here. So that is definitely one that we are keeping. Okay, what else, what else, what else? 
Oh, we have the little peen, the peen cactus inside the chicken pot. <laughs> so we're keeping that for sure. This is a deshidia that I've managed to like keep alive somehow for years, even though it looks terrible. So I don't know if I want to keep this or not. Not particularly, but maybe. And then this is my cute little variegated neon that I snagged at um, the big box store, if you guys remember. It did give me some like really nice new growth. I guess that's pretty much that right there. Um, it doesn't look like crazy variegated, but I don't know. It's still pretty and it's still interesting. And I would love to continue to see how this grows and if it continues to give me anything exciting. If not, it's still a pretty pot and a pretty plant that looks nice on the shelf, so I'll definitely be keeping that one. Wow, okay, this new plant is popping off in the middle there. <laughs> so, yeah. She's, uh, what, a moon? A moonlight? Moonshine? Something like that? I don't know. I think maybe if I cut her back, you can just like regrow her from this little baby down here. What do you guys think? I'm not sure. I just feel like I don't have really any need for snake plants, but they do create nice vertical, they fill up vertical space essentially on the shelves, which is why I like them. This is a Monstera Deliciosa I've been trying to grow from a little baby cutting for the longest time and I'm totally sick of it and I totally don't want to look at it anymore. So, I don't want it anymore. Same with this. This is just sad. <laughs> this was a variegated lipstick plant. I'll keep the cute little mushroom guy but probably not the plant. Okay, so this one, <laughs> I gotta show you. So this is one of my Syndapsis Splash and it started growing back here and up here and it's attached itself to the bookshelf. Here. And I, kinda, I like the way it looks. They prefer to shingle. But, like, it's literally, it's on here, you guys. Like, I can yank it off, sure, but do I want to? What do we do with that? You know? I have to take it down. It just, <laughs> I kind of don't want to. Okay, so now you know what I'm talking about and why I might not move this plant. She might stay there. Okay, so this is really sad. This was a really beautiful Hoya, and I think it just wasn't getting enough light because... Ugh. Also, this ficus Audrey is just... I don't want it. It's just never happy. Like, ever. Um, so, I don't really feel the need to hang on to it. This is just a little baby aloe, some sort of star aloe. Don't need it. And then over here I have my big Hoya Chelsea, which obviously, this is actually David's. Obviously we're keeping Hoya Chelsea. Good times, good times. Um, I'm just gonna clean her up, so I'm gonna put her over here by the sink. And this is one of David's, one of David's favorite plants here in the crab planter. This is the Euphorbia fire sticks or something like that. And his little crab that you guys love. I got it at a local nursery. People always ask me where I got it. 
this is probably a snake plant that we will keep. Just a cute pot. Little euphorbia and a terracotta that we definitely don't need. Got a couple of Hoya here that obviously I am keeping. My Hoya Matilde, one of my favorites. And a cute little Way Eddie Eye. Can never have too many Way Eddie Eye. I literally never move this plant. I try to never even touch this plant. This is the Sedum. I don't know, donkey tail, burrow tail. David's had this for a really long time. And I want to move it to being directly in one of the windows over here. <laughs> Synapsis exotica. Um, I'll probably propagate this one because she's really straggly. So, yeah, I don't really love syndapsis. They're not my favorite to grow. They just don't grow well as a trailing plant. They very clearly would rather shingle. So until I can have a space where I can just kind of let them grow wild, I am not a big fan at this current moment in time. This is a super cute Aglionema red army that I'm definitely keeping. This is a more recent purchase. And then this is a more like sentimental Hoya. This is a propagation from my original Hoya Chelsea that I don't have anymore. And it's a cutting that I gave David when we first started hanging out in this really cute pot that my mom snagged for me. All right, we are getting there. I'm gonna leave my cabinet with my Anthurium where it is. I specifically adjusted the size of that shelf to fit that there so really all i have is what's right here and that is this zz chameleon that doesn't really look very chameleon like she just looks like a green zz um she definitely needs more light and then maybe she would look different but i do really like this pot and everything so I'll probably keep it it's just it very clearly needs more light <laughs> than what I'm giving it it's growing like out of the corner so I'm gonna try and just like style this one better and make it work okay and then we have this ficus triangularis which I don't even think matters because once I move with it it's probably gonna die so um, I'll hang on to it until we move and then I'll probably get rid of it because I can't ship this unless I know somebody locally that really wants it and thinks they can keep it happy. <sighs> this thing, you just like, if even if I just move it to a different spot on the shelf right now, it's probably gonna throw a fit and drop a bunch of leaves. So kind of a pain in the butt. Definitely don't anticipate it surviving the move. Surprised that it survived the move from New Hampshire to Connecticut. Don't think it's gonna make the move back. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. So, we'll see. And then all I have left is this little Hoya. This is a Hoya Memoria. I have a really big hanging basket of this in the bedroom that blooms for me all the time. It's just a cute little baby plant. I think it just needs a better pot and um, we'll keep that one and here in my little coffin planter not planter I do have those on my website though my coffin terrarium I have this beautiful jewel orchid look at her oh, she's stunning absolutely stunning so we keep her in here and uh, we're obviously going to keep her because she's gorgeous. Right. This sad Hoya, I'll try to clean her up and make her look cute. And I'm sure somebody will want to keep her, but we definitely don't have a need for that. I have a couple of little glass terrarium, terrariums, terrariums here. This plant died, but I do have a little philodendron snowdrift in here that I feel like I'll probably just put up in the loft with the rest of my philodendron. Uh, but these are good for small plants that don't need a ton of light to keep my cat from 
nibbling on them down here on the bottom shelf. So obviously I'm gonna be keeping these. I got these at Home Depot a couple of years ago. I haven't seen them since, but I do really like these. I have like four of them. Two of them are here on these shelves. So the second one, the other two are in my bedroom. Um, my cat nibbled on the new leaf on this one. This is the Philodendron Mame Silver. She's really cute, but my cat kind of messed her up, so I'm probably just going to propagate her and throw her up in the greenhouse. Not a greenhouse anymore, but you know what I mean. Then I have this little baby, I think Patricia, Patricia. This is a teeny tiny baby. So this is actually a really good plant for in here because she's small. And it does help keep the humidity up just a little bit. And then that is it, you guys, aside from my anthurium in here up in this little Deschidia Million Hearts that's finally growing a new vine after just being a little propagation for the longest time. So I'll be keeping her like the pot we have more of like a blue theme going on in here i would like to maybe tone it down a little bit but we'll see <laughs> we'll see how it goes i do like the pops of blue so the only thing that i have left to do now is i'm going to take all the other bits and bobs off the shelves the books the crystals the picture frames the artwork wipe them all down and then put everything that i'm keeping back so i'm going to speed you guys up from here play some music and hopefully you enjoy it
Okay, fam, so I've still got some empty spots to fill in, but I do like the way that this is coming along. Some of these shelves are looking really cute. I just need something like small and kind of bushy, maybe, for right here. I think I just need to rearrange a little bit more. I'm going to move these 500 times. I do really like how this shelf turned out right here with this cute new pot that I picked up. I think this pothos looks really nice here. Very minimal, clean. I really love this pot. I'm finally able to use some cute books. So it's really just finding the right stuff to go here. I threw a peace lily up here, one of the snake plants, and maybe another like piece of art back here to kind of fill in those spaces but again this is temporary you guys i just wanted to clean them and feel good about it i have a whole table of plants here that i'm not keeping <laughs> but so far i think this is looking pretty good and stay tuned i'm more than happy to show you guys what this is going to end up looking like over the next few weeks as i inevitably move things around add things into these spaces and who knows so i love this pot okay fam <laughs> so that is it for this video. Like I said, definitely stay tuned to make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss when I show you an update. As soon as I have these completed and feel like good about where these shelves are at, I will do like a full tour of everything that I put on here because I did snag some plants from the bedroom and other areas and I'll probably keep doing that and shifting pots around, trying to incorporate more greens and like neutrals in here. So I really, really like how it's turning out so far. And if you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me today, you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you wanna be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks. If not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. You guys know I can't do this without you. I love you so, so very much. Drop me some blue heart emojis in the comments below if you watched this whole entire video. I even put some of my crystals out and they look really cute. So yeah, it's going to be a project. I can't just like style the shelves and leave them alone. <laughs> so stay tuned. I love you guys. Hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you in the next one.